Molly, amazing to see you uh, back like this year as well. Firstly, how was that out there? I guess this is your last event of the season now? Yeah, yeah, that was my last competition and I'm really happy with how it went. It's been a rocky five weeks post Olympics um, and I'm just so happy that I could come out and put out a pretty, pretty good bar and, and just kind of finish the season on a high note. And, and and pretty much, obviously, everyone knows about the Olympics, but yeah. what happens like, after that then? How's yeah. that journey been for you? Yeah, so three days after the Olympics, I went to do a, another vault session just to try and you know, get back out there. And I tore my cart, and then I've uh, been trying to come back to do competitions, maybe rushing it a bit. Suffered a few more, like, kind of mini tears and warning signs, so we just rested it. And um, yeah, uh, I did one training session, vault session, but four or five days ago and we thought why not just go today and go. I guess the easy option would have been okay it's the season you know the season was yeah. ending we just went across the trip but you made a concerted effort to come back and make this time a big part of it. I think from what happened I needed some closure. I don't want I don't think people would remember me as the person who know how to the Olympics, but I didn't want to remember that. I wanted the season to end on a high, and today wasn't perfect, but it was it was brilliant. Just on Paris, I guess, I don't want to say regret, but obviously, was there an option to go in at a lower high? Is it fine to try so and We've been thinking about this a lot in hindsight, yes, but if we were to do it all again without hindsight, I wouldn't have changed the thing. Like, I, apart from tonight, because of what happened, I come in at 4.50, 4.55 every competition. I was in great shape, there was no reason to change that, and of course, like, you kick yourself a little bit, but yeah, I, I'm honestly not sure I would have cleared the bar if it was lower, there was some other things going on, so I don't quite know what. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, and when you look back at the year, I mean, obviously, like, the Olympics, the Olympics yeah. parts, I mean, the trajectory that you have been on yeah. in the last 18 months has been utterly extraordinary. And will that be, you know, surely you could be thinking about that as well? Oh, it's been an amazing year. Um, yeah, and it's, it's annoying and upsetting that the Olympics always clouded that, but I won at World Indoors. I think I'm still world beat, like, I'm missing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, you know, so there's so many positives to take away. I think tonight was my ninth jump over 480, and for me that's huge. Um, so there's so many positives to take from the year, and I'm already excited to come back out next year. And that consistency as well, the fact you've been doing it, you've been doing it week in, kind of week out. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, that must be going into next year as well. Must be you massively, like mentally and physically. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, apart from this little half thing that I've been, like, had, I've been really healthy and I just want to kind of keep that through winter. I'm looking forward to winter as well, just getting some good training in and then coming out again next year. And the obvious question finally for me, like what do you think you can do? Obviously you've got the British record now, yeah. like what, what, what's the hopes for um, next year? I had one attempt at five metres this year, we just put it up after I jumped 92 and, and just gave it a go and it wasn't far off. So I think, you know, if I get that five metre bar, the, the next height's the world record and you know, I'm... Well look, Mondo is Mondo yeah. and I guess you've really been watching what he's done. Yeah. And I guess you must take some inspiration from him on Absolutely, that. I think that's who we will aspire to be. I think undefeated in 2024 is impressive. So, yeah, if I can do that next year, I'd be pretty happy. Well,